thread from Carlos Osuida responding to Twee Brarian, who asks, what happened to Stilwell after his dismissal? I told you to be Vinegar Joe, a man who refused to lie and who fought in the jungles with his men despite being a four-star general. Well, Vinegar Joe is having the last laugh. After two short appointments, he was tasked with heading a board that would make recommendations for how to modernize the U.S. Army. These are Vinegar Joe's recommendations. 1. Create a unified, combined arms force that carried out extended field tests of new weapons and equipment and formulated doctrine for their uses. 2. Abolish specialized anti-tank units. Instead, give all ground forces anti-tank capabilities. 3. Give the Army vastly improved anti-aircraft defenses, including ballistic missiles. 4. Create guided interceptor missiles fired in accordance with electronic computer data obtained from radar stations. Vinegar Joe was only 80 years ahead of his time. His last combat assignment was the Battle of Alcatraz, May 2 to May 4, 1946, during which four inmates armed themselves with prison officers' guns and tried to shoot their way out. Stilwell commanded two platoons of U.S. Marines from the Presidio who guarded the rest of the inmates and advised the prison officials fighting the would-be escapees. The prison officials wouldn't listen, insisting on pouring in massive amounts of fire. Since the armed men were protected by the concrete cell block, the prison guards tried machine guns, mortars, and hand grenades, but it had no effect. Finally, the Marines used World War II tactics. They climbed onto the roof, drilled holes through the concrete roof, and dropped in hand grenades, forcing the armed inmates into a utility corridor. The armed inmates refused to surrender, so the prison guards made quick raids for a full day, firing into the corridor. By May 4th, all the armed convicts were dead. Vinegar Joe was diagnosed with stomach cancer and died during surgery at the Presidio on October 12, 1946. He was 63 and a lifelong Republican. All of Vinegar Joe's ideas for modernization were gradually implemented, and now we have combined arms multi-domain task forces that will form all the combat elements of the U.S. Army. Vinegar Joe wrote an untitled poem in 1944. I have waited long for vengeance. At last I've had my chance. I've looked the peanut in the eye and kicked him in the pants. The old harpoon was ready with aim and timing true. I sank it to the handle and stung him through and through. The little bastard shivered and lost the power of speech. His face turned green and quivered as he struggled not to screech. For all my weary battles, for all my hours of woe, at last I've had my innings and laid the peanut low. I know I've still to suffer and run a weary race, but oh, the blessed pleasure, I've wrecked the peanut's face. A man after Donald Trump's heart.